Hello, and welcome to this short tutorial on how to delete a WordPress site from your Bluehost space. Now the question arises, why might you want to delete a WordPress site? Well, there are several possible reasons. One might be that you created it in the wrong place or the wrong space. You meant to put it in a subfolder and you made a mistake. Another reason is you've got a very old site and you're not using it anymore and you just want to use up, uh, free up some space. And the third reason is that your space comes with a limit of 25 databases with a student account. And um, each WordPress, or Moodle for that matter, creates its own database to store information and make the site work. So deleting that, if you're not using it, of course, would free up that space for another use. So this is a rather simple process. And we're going to start by going in, opening up the browser. And let's get started. So I'm going to open Google Chrome. And I'm going to proceed to Bluehost.com. There it is. Um, let's enter through the control panel as we've done before. And once the page loads, you're going to notice that my domain name is um, in the username spot. And I just need to enter the password if you're username is not in the spot, you would of course enter it. And now I'm carefully typing my password to avoid mistakes and clicking the login button. Okay, after a minute or so I entered, this should look familiar to you. Um, there's a button to get to the control panel and there's another over here, it doesn't matter which you use. And when we get in this should also look familiar. If I look down a little bit down the page, I see the icon for WordPress. This is how we did our last install. So let's click on that. And you'll notice after a minute or so, you can look up at the URL and notice that we're now at Mojo Marketplace. And this is the site that um, um, Bluehost uses to help with their installs, help manage their installs. Now um, it loads. And here's that same button for creating a WordPress, but that's not what we want to do here. We want to remove a WordPress you've already installed. So in order to do that, you're going to go up um, to where your login name is. And when you mouse over, you'll notice that there is there are several options underneath. And one is the uninstall option. So let's click that. OK. Now, um, Mojo Marketplace has kept track of your installs. So if you look down here, my install is listed. I have one WordPress at this point. And there is an uninstall link underneath there. And if I click it, it brings me, tells me that it's going to install my site and also asks me to give a reason. Now, I am going to pick uh, the reason that I was just testing the script. I just wanted to see how it would work. But you can see that there are many other reasons under there if they apply to you. There is an option underneath to remove it from the records while leaving the files. This is not going to help you with that database situation. And if you're really sure that uh, you no longer want the site, we'll click the uninstall now. Now once I do, you'll see it's spinning. It's removing. There are a lot of files associated with the WordPress site, but after a few minutes you can see that they've been deleted.